feels kind of magical, really. There's the church, so we're going to get out of the cold and see if we can get a drink in this little bar. <laughs> unusual here you're sailing on the boat and you've got this really romantic kind of scene with this all well, these silhouettes in the background but it's also industrial it's like this bizarre hybrid this is our little friend Roberta she likes it up here because we give her cat horses we do don't we sausage she's the hotel cat there we are look at us me Slanger. Slanger. Now we're gonna hit Temple Bar. We found a few bars with live bands, but Temple definitely has lost a lot of its Irish vibes since the pandemic, with many places being closed and the streets of Temple being much more empty than I'm used to. One thing that hasn't changed is the price. Temple Bar is one of the most expensive drinking areas in Dublin, so watch how long you stay there. is Carpathos. So after collecting our hire car we began the 44 kilometre drive to Olympus, a small town up in the mountains. I've got to capture that water out there. This beach is amazing when the sun comes out. See, it's kind of like intermittent because of the cloud and the mountain combination, but it's so beautiful. Our accommodation was a beautiful cottage nestled in the Irish countryside. It was a little bit grey when we arrived, so we got indoors and got ourselves settled in. So we have arrived. A nice fire going. Jesus, yeah. careful now, Drusa. Oh, Jesus, what was that? I don't know. What's the toaster popping? What sort of sheep are these? So they're called Valley Black Nose. Valley Black Nose? Oh, wow. They're originally from uh, Switzerland. Oh, oh look wow. at these guys. Look at those guys. So there's the three at the back, the girls, the boy. They're the amazing. My great grandmother's husband used owned, to own it. And own the undertakers. And the undertakers and, and the, bakery. the bakery and the pub. So. Us moan has got a belt, apparently. It's closed down now, but uh, it's just uh, all derelict now, but this is it. Wow. <laughs> So after relaxing in the water and giving Stella the cat some hardcore cuddles, we decided to explore a bit more of Twickenham on foot. This is so cool, isn't it? We were actually on top of the cave or we were up there. We we're actually on the roof of it. Kind of all the hilly bits with the actual cave itself. So we just kind of walked down and we found it. So we're going down to St. Michael's. It looks so pretty. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. We're going to St. Michael's cave, which is a, a chapel which is carved into the kind of into the rock, I guess. And this is like the walk towards it, it's like two minutes. down and one by one we slid into the cave. The total length of the lava tunnel is 4,500 feet with the main tunnel being 3,000 feet long. I'm so glad I've got my grips on, it's quite slippery. So we're just walking 
walking through Farnham Town Centre right now. For those of you that don't know, Bonfire Night commemorates a failed assassination attempt from over 400 years ago. On the 5th of November 1605, Guy Fawkes and a group of Catholics tried to assassinate King James I by blowing up Parliament's House of Lords. You know you've arrived in Amsterdam when you see all the bikes. There are so many, it's crazy. In fact, the city itself, there are more than 800,000 bicycles. So we got on our tram and made our way to our hotel, which is in the museum quarter of town. We're about to go into the museum of our Lord in the attic. So this 17th century canal house has a hidden secret, and that hidden secret is a Catholic church, which is hidden in the attic. So you can't come to Edam and not try some Edam cheese. But creamy, you should get some. The baby size one, and then this is the big Edam one. I had to drag Tig out of that cheese shop because he was like, ooh, <laughs> cheese! The theme park we were visiting was Efteling, a place filled with fairy tale like wonder and amazing rides. This place is very, very quirky. There's a gingerbread house that actually smells really good. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my God, I'm scared. So we are in the secret pool. It's surprised how warm it is. Outside though, it's absolutely freezing cold. You have to experience it because the camera doesn't do it justice. So this is the amphitheater. Oh, you weren't entertained! Peter's the conductor. No, 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 Orpheus. Orpheus <laughs> didn't. Give us a performance. Woo! Woo! It's always excellent. <laughs> Never disappoints. Never disappoints. Oh, but very oh, short. Oh, so fantastic. Good morning, guys. It's another wonderful morning in Rhodes. So look at this lovely breakfast we've got. We've got bread, we've got Greek yogurt, we've got olives, we've got cheeses, tomatoes, nuts, honey. <laughs> there you go. You guys can have smell a vision. It's just absolutely lush. Dinky. Oh, yeah. So after our pancakes, we decided to walk to the pier and take a trip on the ferris wheel. Once inside the air-conditioned compartments, we just sat back, relaxed, and enjoyed the views. So we're at the top of the windmill now. National Park. This park is massive. It is 55 kilometers squared. The park is so huge and vast with a mixture of different terrains such as woodlands, sand dunes, grasslands and lakes. There are also a big variety of wildlife such as red and roe deer, mouflon which are a type of sheep, wild boar, foxes, badgers and pine martins which are little cat-like creatures who are usually found jumping from tree to tree. There is also a new animal on the block that has recently found its way into the park, an unwelcome guest, and that is the wolf. So up the river, why are we going? Next 
next stop is Golfos Waterfall. I can hear it rumbling, but I can't see it yet. So Golfos Waterfall is a tiered waterfall, which is around 32 meters high. The weather has turned. It's quite heavy. And even the locals are driving super slow at the moment, so. Northern Lights cruise, we're going to be departing shortly. Put these on because it was so cold. Yeah, it was horribly cold out there. Needed something warmer. Anyway, see you guys outside. It wasn't long before there were sounds of excitement coming from up on deck. The Northern Lights were here. It's a really, really calming atmosphere. They give you some salt bags, lovely massage chairs to sit on as well. And it just looks so like cool. It's completely private, it's just me and Tig in here. This place was so magical with all the different colour lights. It definitely got us in the festive mood and we loved the experience. Cars look so high, it's gonna be exciting. It's really quite freaky, isn't it? You are pretty damn high up in these things. So this is literally roast dinner inside a Yorkshire pudding done as a wrap. So I've never tried anything quite like this before. I like it actually. It's very odd though. <laughs> we were taking mum and dad kayaking today and the weather was perfect. You right there, Drida? Hello. Hello. How are you finding it though? Oh, I love it. Incredibly relaxing. Where else did you get a view like this? We headed to a nice country pub and enjoyed a lovely warm fire and some nice cold drinks. Hi. So we're on the beach. Dutch beer, one that's actually brewed in Amsterdam, it's called Beer Mohohol <laughs> and it's actually brewed in a former marine wharf which is pretty quirky but the tasting is where you figure out Sunday morning in Dordrek Dordrek? You hear the bells, it's so peaceful this morning We're now going to have something that I've been super excited to try and that's Oli Bollen. Now Oli Bollen translates to oil spheres. So they are balls of dumpling batter fried in hot oil and they are later sprinkled with icing sugar. So I'm going to give this a go. It's nice and warm. Some Oli Bollen. A strange hybrid between a donut and a bread roll. They look very nice but very messy. Up here in the tower, the top of the church, you can get up here for eight euro each get some really lovely panoramic views of the city from up here and there are loads of these little kind of stairs with windows you can kind of pick any angle to look from however we are right up in the bell tower and these bells go off every 15 minutes so of course we're gonna have to check it out we're gonna have to experience it and see what it's like very assassin's creed moment here we are quite high up as you can see it's the bottom
So we found a really nice little spot to sit out, chill out and have some smoothies. The view behind me is stunning. I can't get over it. These mountains are so beautiful. Carpathos is a beautiful, beautiful island, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's amazing out here, actually. Amazing. Something about snowy landscapes that just have this magical feel. Just outside of Utrecht is the beautiful castle of De Haar, which is surrounded by trees and is one of the most beautiful castles I've seen. This spot by the water was so lovely, we decided to grab a Dutch snack called bitterballen. This is so good. Bitterballen. You mostly find it like as an accompaniment, like a bar snack. We're gonna have a high tea here. This place is really, really cool. There's lovely outdoor seating, but there's also a quirky beachside setting in the garden as well, which is really, really nice and quite unique. I think the first stop in typical Kate and Tig fashion is to get some ice cream. <laughs> it's hard at work. It's a new day. Dreams in the back eating a tart. Yeah, I'm a tart. Silent Valley is so amazing. <laughs> 